Dear pal, welcome back to another AVC useful tip. And in this video, we're going to show you how do you attach file in Google Classroom assignment in three simple ways. Simply, one, students can view only your file but cannot edit. Second, the students can edit together with you and other students. Third, and lastly, how you can make a copy for every single student. For the first one, the student click on the view only file. Right, they can look at your presentation, but they cannot actually make any editing. All right, they can also view the file together with you. Again, the students panel, if they click on the edit file, the students will be able to edit the file together with the teacher. For the copy of every student's file, okay, the student will have the file as a personal work. Right, and when they click on the word, the file will be their own personal one and only they will be able to see when they click on this file for their own, okay, their own work. Alright, and no other students can see this work, only themselves and the teacher. To give you further value enhancement, right, please stay to the end of the video and you will be importantly be shown three ways or the various ways where you can increase your sky folding right to make your lesson more interesting right with different activities according to the different types of attachment right for increasing the in uh, the interest of your students in your topic to even enhance your students engagement and also formatively assess your students learning and application all right if you like this video please remember to subscribe at the bottom right, or click this line on top remember to click the bell so that you'll be first to be notified of future video all right and we will dive right in So now I'll be demonstrating how I'll be assigning three different works all right, in Google Classroom for next year okay, to prepare a student for one lesson that is will be enticing them to be able to focus at the beginning. All right, and then the second part, the second type of our worksheet or the assignment will be for them to be actually participating and involved with the work with me in class. And the last one will be for them to be able to do work on their own. All right, so I prepared three different work. Okay, all right. One is the demo how we can assign this particular uh, uh, Google Slide drag and drop item. All right, as uh, a student can view file type. All right, and the second, which is student can view file type. All right, and then the second type will be second uh, student can edit file type. Okay, this will be the. Uh, item that will be uh, putting up in the Google Classroom for them to participate with me, right? And then uh, the last one will be to make a copy of the particular uh, this particular assignment, okay? Which is this for them to do on their own, right? So we'll show you step by step how do you assign them in Google Classroom. Back to Google Classroom, okay? We will just go straight to Classwork, okay? To assign the whole thing in under one assignment okay so what you do is you go straight to create this button here create click on that all right and go to assignment when you are to upload document for the students to do with you all right assignment okay first of all we will type in the title of the entire of this particular lesson all right i've already written it okay design three ways to attach files in google classroom Right, we'll show you the three ways later as I mentioned just now. Okay, the three that there are actually three different types of drag and drop files okay made in Google Drive uh, slides. As mentioned, the first demo will be to attach the file as a student can view file. So which is this particular one? Let's go to Google Classroom and this assignment under add you will find and click on add. Okay, you go straight to Google Drive, is where I have actually saved the three files. Okay, I click on Google Drive, and because I've just done the editing, it will appear in my recent. Right? It's good to, after you have designed the lesson or the files or the document, straight away assign them straight into your Google Classroom. So you can find them in your recent, which is in this case, this is the particular one. Okay, students can view. Right, so to find where to click this file type, okay, this is where you look at the location. All right, students can view the file. The, uh, the um, default one will be student can view, meaning 
let's take a look at the option they cannot edit they do not have a copy they are looking at the copy of your original file well, remember to stay tuned to the end we'll show you the purpose of using this the benefit of using it okay in terms of assigning students uh, uh, can view file only all right so for this particular file is can view okay so if we were to attach the second one which is the demonstration for the student can edit so let's just attach the file first all right like i said the default is can view so what you do is click on the triangle at the side and click on students can edit in this case they can edit your original file together with you or the students in your list okay next last but not least we will add the last document which is for the purpose of make a copy for every student and this is the one okay i will double click on it all right the default is still can view i will have to and remember to click on the triangle and go down to the bottom make a copy for each student all right we got to deliberately do this and remember the step all right so we have three different files can view can edit and uh, to make a copy for each student all right so the next one will be assigning to all and then we'll be showing you how what is the purpose of each one okay and to, to be more effective in your lesson to entice students to be uh, more engaged and to arouse their interest for your topic Okay, next one we will quickly um, set up the points and the topics okay as usual to make it easier for us to find the, uh, the items in the future all right the assignment in the future so i set the topic now okay all right it will be a new topic that i want which is uh, google classroom tips all right and for points because it, uh, there are several activities in one assignment there will be no point uh, assigning to all students all right and let's assign it okay now this assignment is right on top of the a stream of my Google Classroom and we can uh, inform the students to click on this when you start the lesson All right okay after you click on the class you will come straight to student work and then you can click on instruction to see the three files with the instruction that you may want to put in in front All right all right place the view for the teachers Google Classroom on the left here and the students view of the Google Classroom assignment on the right all right so you can see that the teachers view will have all three files similarly the students view will have three files however please take note all right for these two files they are actually the students uh, can view and students can edit only the one that is make a copy for each student will be under the your work for assignment submission and handing in so now i'll demonstrate how do you use the three different file types for your lesson effectiveness right for the different purposes okay cool so the first one will be for students view only all right let's click on that and you will see that in the teachers view all right there is the panel where the teachers can actually go through the, uh, the, the in this case is actually for notes purposes to lecture in the lesson or to go through concepts all right where the students can actually view your file okay and the the best benefit is that whatever you type in the students can see but the students cannot type all right anything or make any changes you can see there is view only here on the students panel all right and the only person involved in the work here is the teacher here this all right so let's say for example i would like to add something into the information okay uh this i'm, uh, I'm teaching them uh displacement where it's involving is a bit small here but in your screen you will only be seeing your own that the student will see theirs all right i want to type in some answer a b c d all right the student will be able to see the answer straight away on their panel all right so that is the benefit the students go through the information with addition or changes together with you but they can't make a change all right all right so in this case uh, okay one more i can make changes anytime and in anything all right and the changes is instantly appearing on the students view as well okay while well, the second answer is a e and d all right so i can go through the concept with them together and, the, and whatever changes i need i want to add anything data anything they will have the same copy and they will have the latest update okay so that's why i label this particular activity as a notes only 
activity where the students listen or view the changes or information you want to give them. All right. Then the next one, back in Google Classroom, let's say after the concept has been taught, all right, and you would like them to participate in some of the activities to solicit their understanding, the next one will be students uh, can edit version. All right, so let's click on. So in this particular file, the students can edit, all right, they do not have the view only uh, panel here or the words here, all right, and in both our screen, the teacher screen and their screen, we'll see all the people involved, include the students involved, all right, and the teachers involved. So as you have guessed by now, all right, this will be a version where they will participate, the students will participate in the activity together with you, all right, or together with the rest of the class or other students, all right, to get them engaged, all right, in their showing of their understanding of application. Okay, so I'm demonstrate, I will demonstrate the students editing, alright, so the, this is the students panel where they can click and then um, s something similar, work similar example, alright, how to, uh, whether they can show their understanding that distance is actually D, D, A. Alright, so DEA is done by the students and immediately on the teacher's panel and of course in the other students' panel, Oh, they will all see the same answer online instantly. So, so you can actually get all the students or as many students as you want to be involved with this particular activity together with you in class. Whether is it remote learning or is it face to face, they are all equally engaging. So we have seen at the beginning of the lesson, you go through the concept of only you involved in uh, showing the changes and teaching and then the students or receiving the information but yet getting the latest update in the file then after that followed by the students involving an activity with you together and they are in they can actually make the changes together by clicking answer and yeah, writing answer all right to get uh, actors in the same file and to be shown instead last but not least we will do demonstrate what both they see in the make a copy uh, version so in this case, they will click on this particular file, which is their own work. Every student will have their own copy of it, right? Whatever they do, it will not actually affect the other students. So click on it. So in this case, you will see that the only uh, person involved is actually the student, but of course, at the same time, the teacher. The teacher can assess the student's work at any time, any of the students, right? So usually, this is individual work uh, to, to show the understanding, all right, or as a homework. Okay, to be done later on, on their own. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is my original copy on the left, right, and the students copy when they make any changes. Right, this is a drag and drop activity. So what they should they can do is to click on the item. Alright, if you are interested in knowing how to create this kind of drag and drop activity, uh, please click the line on top. Okay, I have a video that shows you how to do this kind of uh, drag and drop. Right, so you will see that uh, it doesn't affect my original copy because it is their own made copy. Alright, so where do you see the student's work? It's pretty simple. You go to student work in your own panel. Look for the student's name, you can click on it, but usually their work will straight away appear on the right hand side. In this view, alright, I'm going to click on it to show that the students work here. Then, because this is actually a Google Slide assignment uh, attached file, uh, the, the changes is made instantly on your own ver the teacher's version as well. So, you can click on teacher's version here to take a look. You will be able to see that this is actually student uh, ABC's work here. Right, and the, the work has been done similar to what is being firstly uh, demonstrated just now. All right, and there are two people involved, a teacher and that particular one student only. And you are happy, all right, with all the three types of um, uh, file attachment in Google Classroom. Students view only, students can edit and make a copy for each student. I hope you like this video and find values from the video. All right, if you really love the video and would like to be first to be notified of future video, especially in the next one, which is game, all right, my third game type, Mario Hunt. Please click subscribe at the bottom, all right, or click the subscribe using this button here. Right, remember to click the bell so that you'll be first to be notified about the next video and the future videos and give us a comment and give us a thumbs up, all right, and I hope to see you again. Take care.